Victor. <laughs> wow. My name is Jake Brillhart. I'm an architect here in Miami and also a professor of architecture at the University of Miami School of Architecture. Hello, my name is Rocco Cheo. I'm a professor at the School of Architecture at University of Miami, a painter and an architect. I'm Victor Dupi. I'm also in the faculty at the School of Architecture. I don't practice. I mostly teach and draw and paint. The idea for the exhibition, I think, first started out with the idea that we're all working two-dimensionally. We're working with works on paper. Um, but the idea really expanded to an idea about the particular geography that we're in, the landscape that we're in, which has to do with this very sort of flat landscape of uh, South Florida. One of the connecting themes uh, within Flatland is that we all had an appreciation for both the built and the natural landscape. The fact that the city's real um, sandwiched between two national parks, Biscayne Bay National Park and the Everglades, um, that all sort of kind of tied the work together. I think there's another element, and that's working together as colleagues and friends. And now we're talking about what are we going to do next, because the truth of the matter is it's, it's, it's a great deal of fun working together and being in a collaborative effort like this. Uh, studio spaces in Miami can be pricey, and so to have the amount of square feet and wall surface we had was really outstanding. The uh, space also allowed for us to work together, to listen to music, eat. It was an exceptional experience. You know, the library was very generous in giving us a space to work in, and again, it forced us to kind of focus. Um, it forced me to focus my work on downtown and kind of reflect on things that I wouldn't normally see in everyday life downtown, um, so the space was great. If you look around the exhibition, you see the sketchbooks, the smaller works on paper that we do in situ when we're outside working in the field. The studio allowed us to, to go larger, it allowed us to produce work over time rather than in the moment. It allowed us to be a little bit more reflective, you could say. It was just great to be in a place where you really feel you're at the center of everything. And being in a space where everybody is working and intensely working on whatever project they are was a kind of inspiration for wanting to be here, wanting to produce the kind of work that we were producing. So I find that the role of art in the library is one of several cultural activities that are housed under one roof and in one Acropolis-like setting that you have here in Miami. We live our lives through our phones and our screens and being a cultural sort of epicenter to the town, the library can still play a role in sort of analog creative making, which is painting and drawing and art. So I think the library can play a great role in supporting that. So I really think that art in the library is about transformation. It's about opening people's eyes to things that they might not have thought of might not have considered, but somehow just coming through the doors has allowed them to see something different, make their day better.